the way down. Are you going back to the Yeah, my daughter's not very Well, I'll go home every day apart from normally not. Is that all recording, is it? Yeah. Do you want me just to just catch it? Yeah, like in your warm up, yeah. Wait for the warm up. Yeah! Charlie just comes in when he wants, you know. Good. Follow it then. Oh. What's up with my finger? Because um, he's left well, you're 16, aren't you? Yeah. 16? Because he's been desperate for a keeper. Here. I'm just thinking, even it's just for you to get games. Yeah. yeah. Might be worth. But I don't know. What... Is my heartbeat running out? Is it? I don't want to be right. <laughs> I think I'm about done here, so I don't know if I'm going to take it. Okay. Then I'll I don't want to wait over there because I don't think I want to be funny about. No, it's fine. Okay, I'll take it off. Because I don't feel it. I'm right. Yeah. It's interesting to see what it looks like. Welcome to a wet and winty. Welcome to a wet and cold Barnet. I'm here for the final day of my documentary filming. The Ebbsfleet match, obviously my ex football club who I played for. I'm here today to film the game, pitch side, but also the build up to the game here at the Hive. Just arrived. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon, so here, extra, extra early. But yeah, it'd be good to get the filming done, finally start the work on the editing and got two or three weeks to get it all done. So quick turnaround, um, but I think Tom Watts here tonight, the guy who I spoke to at Wembley. So it should be a great game if they can win, that'll make it look better. Hoping to get in the dressing room, hoping to get some good footage. So let's go. Calm before the storm here at Barnet, but yeah, so get busy later and uh, I'm just gonna do some b-roll stuff now get some good stuff so I've always got stuff to use I think two big lessons I learned whilst doing all this buying stuff is the first thing is you learn more by doing which sounds obvious really you know you're gonna learn more through experience than just reading stuff that's why I don't like you know the books and stuff I like just doing stuff and uh, the second thing would be um, that you have to realize that there's gonna be loads of things you can be doing, but ultimately you have to realize that showing up is 80% of success and it's not gonna go perfectly, but you can get it pretty good. So I think the hardest thing about all of this is the fact you're on your own and uh, you can only capture so much on your own. You know, I'm trying to capture like the lights coming on now, I'm trying to capture the manager turning up and you can only do so much, you're only one person, so you just get what you can get, I think, and uh, that's what you can do. I'll never forget, actually, when I came here on trial, I just saw some guys come up the change room, just the one I went in. But um, it's strange how life worked out, now I'm here doing this, filming. I think all of this as well is a big test of character because, you know, I've had a busy week last week, busy week this week, and, you know, I can feel the throat coming on, but I'm keeping it at bay. So uh, let's keep going. So it's getting busier around the area now. I'm just waiting for the sign to come on for the match day. I need that as a shot. Maybe I'll have to come back. Got this on my shoulder. Getting a little bit busier now. Floodlights are on. Uh, FC team are slowly turning up here, so time to get busy. Perfect weather for a keeper, nice and wet. Um, hopefully it's a quiet one though, and uh, hopefully we can take the three points home and just start bright and give me something to share about. Have a good game. 
Forward to it, really excited. Time to turn the corner. Obviously, lost on Saturday. What have you said to the boys before this game? Well, the good thing is, when you play Saturday, Tuesday, you've ain't got long to wait before your next game to put it right. So, let's go out there and be positive and get uh, get a win. Simon, you're on the edge of the box. Yeah. Got that. Hole one, Dave to turn the hole two, Danny, and then we've got the chain with Harry Taylor, Edit Johnson, Cannon in the middle of the five, Sweeney four, JT five. You
Do you know the code for that? No, I don't. Uh, yeah, no, I can talk from the red to green Half time here, we're at the Hive. 2 1 Barnet. I've had a stressful game because I've been doing everything. I got in the dressing room before the game. That was very nerve-wracking, that to really fuck up the courage for that. We've got second half coming up, two great goals I got on camera. So yeah, looking forward to the rest of the game and uh, finishing filming. What a day, what a game. 5-2 Barnet um, against Ebsleet. And uh, yeah, it's been a proper work day. I've been here since two o'clock and it's now about uh, 10, 10.30. So I haven't looked at the time properly, run out of battery on my watch. But um, saw Tom Watt, you know, the guy that I met at UCFB, the broadcaster, documentary maker, actor. Um, yeah, he caught me, called my name. I was obviously in the midst of it all, but um, yeah, it was great for my documentary. I've got a lot of footage to edit right now. I've got loads of stuff to edit, including this stuff, the YouTube stuff, the Barnet stuff, the highlights, the documentary, the lot, but there's a lot of good stuff on camera and uh, it's been a great day. You know, when I'm around it, you know, I get into it. <laughs> when I come away from it, I'm like, you know, do I want to be doing that? But whilst I'm doing it, whilst I'm at it, it's good. It's a good experience and uh, yeah, as I said, look forward to the editing in a good way. You know, there's going to be a lot of good stuff that I can showcase what I've done here. So yeah, um, good day all round and a good way to finish off the filming of my documentary. It's funny as well when you see someone like um, Tom Watt, he looks at you and you know, he probably thinks he, you know what you're doing and I'm thinking I know what I'm doing, but you know, you never really know what you're doing. Um, when I say that, you know, I think I know what I'm doing, but you know, especially when it comes to editing, I'm not the world's best, but we give it a go and uh, whatever happens, que sera, sera, you know, you do your best and uh, in the end, I like to think it'll work out. So yeah, it's been a good day, good documentary progress and 
look forward to seeing what unfolds in the next few weeks. And one other thing, obviously I got in the dressing room today, that was a big step up in terms of confidence, you know, to go and ask the first team manager, say, can I film you? Not only just like, you know, getting ready, but to film him, you know, Pep Guardiola style, his talk before the game is huge. Not many people would be able to get that level of access apart from like a BT Sport or a BBC. So I'm really proud of myself for doing that. That took a lot of guts. And, uh, but that would only have come if I hadn't have um, tested myself in many other situations before. You know, it's not the first time. So yeah, um, it's, um, it's progress all around. And when it's all dark, all the floodlights are off, the football's still going on. <laughs> all the um, people using the hive, it's used all the time. <laughs> what you can't substitute from all of this is just the networking. It's a cliche, but it's, it's just people you meet you wouldn't thought you met. Like I would never have thought I'd have met Tom Watt here, let alone meet him in the first place. But he knows people, and what's the chance of then seeing him here at Barnet, you know? world works in mysterious ways. Um, that Dan has asked me if I can film with him tomorrow. I doubt I'll do that. I need to be selfish to be kind sometimes. I'm at KFC. This takes ages, this one. Yeah, upon it. Hi, can I? See, I was completely focused on the documentary tonight because that is the, I always have a philosophy, your mission comes first and that was, was more, more important, you know, but I find it important to document as well and take you with me. Um, so yeah, um, loads, of more, loads more stuff. Uh, sound like Italian then. Loads of more stuff coming. Loads more stuff coming. So uh, stay posted. So we're editing now and uh, it's going to be a tough two weeks. Don't know if I'll make it. <laughs> no. Um, serious head on now. Got my snacks. Focus. And uh, just got some feedback from Barnett saying really happy with the footage. Brilliant work. So that's great. So let's focus. I'm in the final stage now of my documentary, but obviously the most important phase in some ways, the editing, and I'm downloading different softwares, Premiere Pro, Handbrake, getting all the footage off my SD cards, getting the storyline right, and uh, yeah, um, watching tutorials, looking at all the footage, getting it organised, and um, hopefully it'll be a really great documentary. So it's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, the day after the Absolute game, and it's all hands on deck now, editing, using software I've not used before, Premiere Pro, uh, well, not properly, I've always used iMovie and stuff, so this is a bit of a test. This is where the magic happens. Four SD cards, um, downloaded Handbrake to transcode all the private files. So yeah, a lot of, lot of stuff I've not, never done before, but it's all on Google, I suppose, and it's all there. I've been taught some of it, so let's... Um, Let's get going. And obviously the documentary is based on Barnet Football Club. I'm thinking of calling it Darren Curry's Black and Amber Army, but we'll see. And it's all based on the match build up to um, the episode game, which was last night. Got to get this done in the next two weeks. No pressure. They do say save it for a rainy day. And it's a rainy day. It's getting tougher by the week. So today, um, had a quick three-hour lecture, better than usual. But I'm gonna stop talking quite quickly because I want to get going. It says now 51, ironically, which is weird because it's earlier in the day. It's three o'clock. Yet yeah. traffic can just be unpredictable. But. Um, week nine now i'm not there the last two weeks i'm away um in italy i've got a course i'm going on public speaking course so busy busy but have to get my documentary in this time in two weeks so less talk and as they say more action so i'm on the m25 and uh it's gridlocked coming off in two miles looks like i'm in for a great trip on the way back ducking and diving through the country lanes traffic here and there feeling like an eternity to get back home but it should take one hour, 15, one hour, 20. It's gonna take two hours. And I'm already 20 minutes in. <laughs> well, at least it's in a couple more weeks. It does take it out of you, all the traveling, time-wise, you know, concentration-wise, but um, as I read in a quote the other day, 
don't moan, either act or move on. So, can't really do much now apart from move a little bit by bit, but um, you just you just have to move on, accept it and move on, you know. Everything else when you get home is in your control. So I'm still officially sitting here. Makes sense. Still sitting here, officially gridlocked, that's what I meant to say. Um, it kind of makes finishing at three not worth it. You don't really benefit from it, but all that matters is that you get stuff done when you get home and you get some rest and that's it. Well, I just found out on the group chat on Sorbidgeworth that 28th of December, we've got another shot a cup glory. If we play, if we beat, sorry, Redbridge first team, then we play our own first team, Sorbidgeworth first team, in the um, last eight, sorry, last 16. And if we beat them, quarter final, semi final, I can't believe it. I thought cup was all done. Pete Butcher trophy, I think they call it. What an opportunity to play the first team. That never happens. So stay posted. It just shows you if you hang in there, you never know. You can always live to fight another day if you stay in there. It makes all these games now in the build up to Christmas even more important, worthwhile, and meaningful. So I feel like I am out at the moment. I've got my Mac going, iPad resetting, all these scripts out. Wake up, Daddy Sean. Welcome home, sir. Uh, it feels like a little factory in here. But uh, getting to work here. Yeah, yeah, you, 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 you can make a business page. I wouldn't say they're the most effective things in the world, but you're going to always get more uh, engagement and you're always going to get more inbound leads for your personal profile than your business page. It's good to have a business page. We're actually not going to talk about, the, talk about that in yeah. this particular session. All right, so sitting here in the Hilton Hotel, um, I am quite overwhelmed at the moment because I've got, I just sat down with my dad and we kind of talked through what's the priority for my university work. And um, I won't deny it's tough when um, you're trying to achieve a top grade, you do your best. Um, but you're also doing other stuff like this, which is a meeting about you know business stuff and the juicing, the gym stuff, all of that. But I'm aiming high with that as well. I've got documentary to hand in. What's making it harder is the official deadlines next week, but I'm also away, obviously on this course as well, so getting it done really. Um, but hopefully this, this hotel might have some Wi-Fi. And uh, yeah, but it's not easy. It's a busy time of year as well, Christmas and all of that, but we'll keep going and hopefully today we'll be productive and uh, yeah, I'll keep you posted. Like five, six hours later, if not more than that, finally finished for the day. Uh, we finished a bit earlier because there's a Christmas dinner tonight with all the people, part of the group, so yeah, a lot of work. I've been doing a lot of university work whilst I'm here as well, but it was a good productive day and obviously PSA the next three days, so um, yeah, I'll get some footage tonight and we keep going. So back now and just finished at Matt Wilson's Inner Circle party and uh, Christmas party that was. It's 11.30 PSA tomorrow. Um, what else? I met, I met um, Andy Harrington's son, Josh Harrington. He's, uh, I think he's similar age to me, 20, 21. So yeah, it's good to meet him. And uh, it was strange because he, he looks like him a bit, but yeah. Um, it was a good good meal and uh, I've got an essay length email back from my lecturer about my documentary so it's like I've got a busy three days to get it done and uh, speaking time here we come so important we rest up now. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, people interested in juicing, nutrition, but also mindset as well, relates to that.
maybe it's something you hear. Nice. Well done, Lou. Thank you. You've got a lovely clear voice. Thank you. Really, really well. Thank you. So it's uh, 11 29, Friday, 13th of December, and uh, I'm doing loads of work on this documentary, one note diary, reflection stuff as well. Um, yeah, got to be up at 6 for the Speaks Academy, and uh, so a lot of work to do, so we're hanging in there. We're going to fall the last hurdle. Wait. I've got family, I've got friends. All the small things, big things as well. And I started to realise that from all of this, I was lacking clarity, I was lacking purpose. Effectively, don't you? Okay, got you, yeah, well done. Thank you. Right, it's time to go. But before that, I uh, just want to quickly reflect. When you come away from an environment that's a top level professional speaking thing like I do, or business thing, at the time it can be very stressful, but when you come away, you realise how much you're learning. And um, it was quite funny to that actually, it was well, it's not funny, it's quite concerning, but he talked about like you learn a lot of stuff in the early days, like systemised stuff, but he said, you know, they're the basics, and you need to know the basics, but really, to come across less stilted and less rigid, you almost have to, um, you know, the stuff you learnt in the beginning, not follow it. Where have we heard that one before? You must unlearn what you have learned. But, yeah, it, it was a bit, little bit, um, it was a little bit shocking, but I, I get what he means. He means that he teaches you stuff about public speaking, you don't have to always follow it to the tin or to the letter. Um, you can ad lib a little bit and you can be yourself. So that's what I took away from today. Um, lots of good stuff right now on the Mac. Editing, added some music. I say I'm not a musician, but we'll give it a go and um, get this documentary done and dusted finally. Um, so, yeah, um, just been out as I said, and it's been a good evening, but now it's 9.41. And we're going to work into the night and get some proper progress done and uh, look forward to actually getting this completed and taking the stress away. And then I'm going to get practicing for tomorrow. So without further ado, let's start working. Got to get this documentary done. Family's all on holiday mode now, but I've got... It's 9.43, I've got to be up at 5. I've got until then to get it done. You have to believe it, you have to believe it before you see it. And uh, just keep, keep moving forward. So it's 1.45 a.m. Got to be up in three hours going to Stansted, but trying to transfer these files is annoying. And, uh, Got to get it done because I can't, I can't submit this whilst I'm alive, let alone get the footage. Huh. So it's 3:10 a.m. on um, Monday, the 16th of December. Still haven't finished, but I would say the race can go to Italy, having not submitted the documentary. But I've submitted the work placement stuff, so it's the main thing. Got stuff in download. Even the normal night, this would be late for me. But, um, yeah, I'm going to feel it tomorrow, but just tell myself, wake up on a resi, we're going in tomorrow. This should feel good, but that good. As I did now, I need to recover. And we said, we go. So, let's do that. Right, so it's uh, Tuesday, the 17th of December, and I'm out here in the Dolomites in Italy. And uh, it's pretty cold, there's a lot of snow around, but um, I've got to stick to what I've got to do, and that is to get this documentary complete. So I'm in the final stage, get the feedback done, and then send it off and uh, get some feedback from my lecturer, Mick Kelly, and then finally that can be all done. I actually submitted. Um, the work placement work yesterday and they told me that I submitted it to the wrong one. Work placement portfolio submitted. 
and they said they've rectified it for me, but for next time, you know, I wouldn't be as fortunate. But yeah, um, when you're so busy and loads of other things, you know, mistakes going to happen. It's whether you can just keep going and keep persisting anyway. So, going to get this editing done on my iPad, and uh, I'll let you know once it's done. Now, I'll be honest with you, it's been hard to properly relax because obviously I've had to keep working on my documentary for university, but what I've realised is in life it's good to never go too high and never go too low. So, you know, I'm always in a working mindset as such, so you kind of, as you get older, you get used to that and uh, you just have to make the most of the time you have got, so balance is key. Yes! Finally finished my documentary. Knew I could do it. Yes. Knew I could do it. Yeah, but all jokes aside, it's been 12 weeks in the making, eight weeks fully actually working on it. So it's been a long, hard journey and it's finished here in Italy. Just need to submit it and then it's all done.